Hi there, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm so excited to have you here with me today for my fourth Shop With Me Saturday video. That's where I show you everything I bought in the last week or week and a half and I style it with some things that I already have in my closet and I totally recommend that you shop your closet. A lot of these things are very basic and you have a lot of them in your closet, so don't feel like you have to go around and buy a bunch of stuff. But if you would like to look at what I've purchased, there are links below the video and I have discount codes for quite a few of the items too. Now, before I get into the clothing and have lots of great styled outfits to show you today, I did want to show you the mystery of why it is just the beginning of spring and it is still cold out here and that I look kind of Malibu. Not a huge tan, but a little bit of tan. And that is because I am using this wonderful thing, the Saint Tropez, I think that's how you pronounce it, Natural Looking Tan Self Tan Classic. And I have tried quite a few other self tanners, including ones from the same line. This is simple and wonderful. And I started using this during the last Shop With Me Saturday video because I realized that now I'm wearing these ankle height jeans and it was like my body looked normal and then it looked like white Casper peeking out under my jeans. So this is absolutely wonderful. And I've also linked this below because if you get a self tanner, you really don't want it all over your hands. You really do need to use a mitt and this is a great one. Now, before we get down into the fashion show, I did want to ask you a question. And that is that if you've seen my videos, you know I normally have very long tips and they're the French white tips, but now I have red nail polish on and I'm not sure what I think about this. I have been thinking I needed to maybe experiment with a solid color and maybe thinking that the French was a little bit out, but what do you all think? I'm really curious. When I went to the lady yesterday for her to do my nails, she said people are still doing a lot of French, although it does tend to be the older people, but I'm okay with that if it's still vaguely in style because I'm used to it. I may go back to it anyway, but let me know what you think. And I normally use this red color, which is the OPI color, Big Apple Red. It is their number one best-selling color. I use this in the, in the winter near Christmas. But this one, I decided I needed a more spring or summer red. And as you can tell, this is kind of a blue red. And this is kind of a nice, maybe an orangey red. That's the color my nails are. And I really think this one is better if I'm going to wear red in the spring and summer. And again, let me know your thoughts on having a French manicure versus a solid color. Let me know in the comment section what you're doing with regard to your own nails. Okay, the first outfit in this video is the outfit that I'm wearing now. And I am so happy Clara Sunwoo actually reached out to me and sent me this outfit. She also sent me one for maybe three weeks ago. And I'll show you that on the side here. Isn't that absolutely gorgeous? My son loved that, my husband loved that. I'm so excited because when summer comes, we're going on a cruise and I think that will be absolutely perfect. But this outfit is navy and white and I love the Clara Sunwoo products. They are simple, they are well-made and their material is just, it's hard to explain. It's just a really lightweight type of a fabric and it has a little bit of spandex in it, I believe, because it really does hug your curves in all the right places, love that. I have it paired with these wonderful Dream Pairs sandals. And I ordered these maybe about a week ago, and I love these. They are the Dream Pairs brand, and Dream Pairs is a brand that is known for its comfortable shoes. These are super comfortable, and it's funny because last year I had some clear sandals like this. Actually, there were two pieces of clear there, and they were very uncomfortable. This really hurt my feet. But these are super comfortable, and I love them. They're the cork platform sandals, and they have a beautiful rattan kind of a straw front. And then they have the clear, which is very, very in. And I am noticing that not only do these look good with this type of an outfit, when you get into those really floppy pants, I guess they call them, those linen big pants that almost hit the ground, these are perfect. And in addition to this, I have this paired with a great purse. Let me show you. This is the Ralph Lauren straw purse. And I just had this about the last week but I have been wearing this every single day. I absolutely love it. Look at this, it is a very big tote. All of this is genuine leather and it has that beautiful hanging tag with the Ralph Lauren logo on it. I just think it looks so classy. And even if you wear a very, very basic outfit, you know, go to Target, get a nice t-shirt, nice pair of cheap jeans, you put this on and all of a sudden you look elegant. Okay, and with regard to this navy and white outfit, this two-piece outfit, I did want to show you that the shirt can be worn just with jeans and I absolutely love it. It's a quality top and kind of upgrades any jeans outfit you have. Isn't that gorgeous? 
And I did want to show you, I also got these white pants and these are the slit hem pants. These slit in the front. You can either have them slit on either side or in the front. And these just look very, very current, especially for the spring season. But I really think the slit pants are going to be hanging around because it is a great way to show off your shoes. And it also makes this outfit a lot more versatile. Okay, this next outfit goes to show you that something simple can look fabulous. And basically it is just a long lean outfit and it has this Vince Camuto top. And this is a very inexpensive top from Macy's, but it is Vince Camuto, so it's very well made. It has a little keyhole opening in the back, but it is just totally a simple little basic top that you could have for years. You will have this for years, I plan to. And I have mixed that with something that is a very good bargain. And these are the Sofia Figuero jeans from Walmart. They're only like $30, and look how well they fit. They just absolutely hug you. They're, there's a little bit of spandex in here. They, they hug your body in all the right places. They have a little bit of a boot cut, not a huge boot cut. I actually own hers that have more of a boot cut, but these are the more mild ones. I really do like these. And then I have them paired with a fabulous, fabulous belt. And I absolutely love this belt. I got it about a week ago and I've probably worn it three or four times already. The first day I went into work, the girl said, OMG, where did you get that belt? It is fabulous. And I think this is from Macy's, but this is Ralph Lauren. And again, it kind of adheres to my idea that with purses and leather goods, if you really go a little bit higher in price and get something that's really stellar, it can really elevate the look of just any basic outfit. I have even worn this with a white t-shirt and it looks wonderful, but it is a 100% leather belt and it has this gorgeous little buckle here. And I will tell you that it does tend to run small. I would normally wear a small, but I ordered the small and the medium, and I ended up getting the medium because the small did not fit. However, I did have to take the medium to my, my shoe repair man and have him make another hole, but I was glad to do that because I'm going to wear this thing for years. It is wonderful. And I paired that with some great shoes, and these are some of my favorite shoes. These are the Lucky Brand Mules. They're suede cognac. And if these are sold out, these were from DSW. I will link some others that are on Amazon below because there are some great ones on Amazon. I think they're about $50 either place, but these are absolutely beautiful. And I love the mules in the spring and summer because you still get that long lean line. And actually this outfit has a little bit of a Western look because of these sort of boot looking things. But I like the fact that they're mules because then your the back of your foot is open to the elements. And so it really does have that spring look, which is wonderful. And I have it paired with this fabulous purse. And I think I just told you about this, so I won't go through that again. But again, this really just elevates any outfit. But if you want to take this outfit a little bit more ladylike and a little bit more upscale, then you can always come in with something like this, which is a Teddy Blake purse. This is the Ava. I have had it for three years. I think it's in gold beige or just beige, something like that. It looks as good as the day that I bought it and I've worn it quite a lot, but it has the gold hardware. It has a wonderful zipper in the back and it holds a ton. And I just think these structured purses just give you that kind of ladylike feel. And I really like the idea that, again, we're not going matchy-matchy with our belt in our purse and everything. Basically, we have the cognac belt, the cognac shoes, but when we add a little beige purse, it does blend in, but it looks a little more carefree. Now in the third outfit, I have stuck with those same Sofia Vigero jeans, and I've added a Vince Camuto, kind of an off the shoulder top in leopard. And I love this. And this is how I really like to do day to evening outfits, because this outfit would be fine during the day, but it would also be nice dressed up with a beautiful pair of black trousers, or maybe even some black skinny jeans. They're not totally out yet, girls for evening, and that's a wonderful way to avoid having to wear evening wear, but yet have things in your closet that you can wear for evening. And I have it paired with these wonderful Katie and Kelly pumps. Actually, they're not pumps, they're sandals. And again, they have this super comfort of the Kelly and Katie brand. I think I said Katie or Kelly. I'm not sure I get them mixed up. But anyway, these are just those classic black sandals. They're becoming a classic with these two simple straps and those gorgeous rectangular heels, absolutely fashion forward. And I think you could wear these with lots of different types of outfits. Okay, now we take that same basic long black outfit with the gorgeous Ralph Lauren wide belt and we add a gorgeous blazer to it. This is from Zara and Zara does absolutely beautiful blazers. They are lined, they are super quality. 
This is wonderful, nubby green boucle. Look at those fabulous buttons, absolutely love that. And I love it that it is a long length blazer because I feel much more comfortable having the hips and thigh area just totally covered up. And I think this does it in a beautiful way. I'm probably going to be wearing this tomorrow to Easter service because I think it's so beautiful for spring. And again, everything in this outfit is the same including these beautiful cognac suede pumps. Absolutely love those. And when I wear this outfit tomorrow, I'll be adding the Ava purse here. Absolutely classy and very ladylike. And another option is here. And this is the Ralph Lauren bucket bag. And I have this in cognac and black. I love it. I'm wearing the cognac a lot more right now, but I'm sure when winter comes, I'll wear this a lot more. But I love the leather goods from Ralph Lauren. They are fabulous quality. And again, it has that beautiful, beautiful Ralph Lauren logo right there. Absolutely a gorgeous purse and it is very roomy, which is nice too. Okay, I'm excited to show you this outfit because it is styling menswear style trousers, which I really love. And it took me a while to figure it out, but I finally figured out that the best way to make pleated trousers look good, remember we all wore them in the 90s and we looked big and bulky and not very attractive. And when they came back again, I thought, oh my gosh, you know, I don't want to wear those again. I look fat then and I'm gonna look fat now. But the way to handle trousers in the best way possible is to realize that the trousers are going to be big and bulky on the bottom, but you want people to know that you're actually slender underneath. So what you do is you wear a form fitting top on the top. And in this case, I have mixed high end, high end and low end. This is a fantastic black halter top. It's a normal t-shirt. It's very long, very form fitting. And I got it in a size small, not extra small, small. I'm trying to size up a little bit rather than looking like a sausage. I think it's better to size up sometimes to have a little more room in there. But again, this is from Old Navy, and I think it's like on sale for $9.99. It's crazy. I bought three of them for that reason. And I have it styled with kind of a higher end thing. And this is from a division of Zara. And you get through it from Zara's website, but it is a, a little bit higher end brand called Massimoto, Massimoto Duty. And I think it's Italian. It's, I probably really butchered that. But these are those gorgeous black trousers and they have beautiful detailing, they have front pockets, they have a, a fake pocket on the back. They are absolutely quality and you will have these for years to come. And I have that mixed with something rather casual, which is these sandals on the bottom. And again, this is that Kelly, Kelly and Katie brand of cognac sandals, very soft and very comfy. And I absolutely love the gold logo on the front. These are kind of a Tory Burch lookalike. But I don't like the Tory Burch ones because I really don't want to go around advertising a brand on my feet. Now, I'll do it on a purse for some reason. Even on a belt, I don't really like that and I don't really like it on shoes. But I absolutely love this little bling here that we have going. And one of the things that really helps upgrade this whole outfit is, again, the Ralph Lauren belt. I just think it looks fabulous. Okay, this next outfit looks kind of similar to the trouser outfit but it has some slim black fitting trousers. These are ankle length trousers. And again, they're the that Masimoto Duty brand, which is the division of Zara. Absolutely wonderful quality and a little slimmer look than the trousers. And again, I have it with the Old Navy $10 halter top, and I think it looks absolutely beautiful. And again, you probably have tons of black pants in your closet. You don't need these, but this is a good way to show you what I'm talking about. And in this outfit, I am using another of my favorite Ralph Lauren belts. And this one I think is 40, maybe $50, but to me it is worth it, especially because it is reversible. It is cognac side and there's a black side. And I will tell you, this is a hairband, an elastic hairband, because I was wearing this with some pants and I wanted the end to be kind of tucked in a little better. But here it is on the black side, like I have it shown in that video there. And I'm wearing these wonderful Zara kitten heels. And here they are, they look like they're alligator. They have a little bit of texture there and they have these gorgeous, gorgeous gold buckles and a very small kitten heel. And as we get older, it is nice to be able to wear a heel, but if you do a little kitten, it's a small heel, so it's doable. And look at the shape of that heel. That is the new shape, I love that. And they are slingbacks, which is absolutely beautiful. Now, let's go ahead and show you a little something I added on here. And this is again from that brand, Clara Sunwoo, very, very quality brand. 
And this is one of their best-selling items of all time. Probably in black, it's more best-selling than this. This is their liquid leather jacket, and it is vegan leather, and it comes in probably six or seven different colors from pastels to black, and black would be your classic. But this is a lovely little moto jacket. And this jacket was actually awarded as one of Oprah's favorite things of last year, I believe. And I can see why. You should feel this material. It is absolutely soft and supple. Like the name implies, it feels like poured liquid. It's absolutely beautiful. And if you're a blonde, I absolutely love the way this gold color looks against your blonde hair. And you can wear it zipped or you can wear it unzipped. Absolutely love this. And this is very helpful on those early spring evenings where it's still a bit cool. Okay, in this next outfit, we feature first a linen short sleeve shirt in black. And I have to admit, I have never worn linen before. I always thought, oh, it's too wrinkly, and I really preferred something that didn't wrinkle, like polyester, which looking back, it's like, Beth, you spent a lot of years not looking your best, because linen is a super rich material. It is super classic, and this Uniglo shirt is such good quality. The buttons are sewn well. The short sleeves are gorgeous, and it is just long enough that you can tuck it in, which is great. And then I have it paired with some kind of beigey tan Bermuda shorts. I guess they're more beige, but I will link a similar version below because these are from my own closet from Ann Taylor, I think, from several years ago. And I have it paired with cognac accessories. This is, again, that Ralph Lauren cognac belt. Absolutely love that. And because I wanted the outfit to be shorts but a little more dressed up than that, I went in with these beautiful Katie and Kelly, no, Kelly and Katie sandals. And again, they're the classic double strap sandal with the rectangular heel. They are super, super comfortable. I had some that were similar to this last year. I got them on Amazon and they were not at all comfortable, but these are truly comfortable. And if you'd like to make the outfit a bit more casual, you could always go with flats like these Katie and Kelly cognac flats and also a gorgeous straw purse like this one. And this has the advantage that it carries a lot of stuff. Okay, in this next outfit, I'm keeping on the beige Bermuda shorts. And quite honestly, I love Bermuda shorts. I'm really not into the shorter ones now. My legs don't really handle that very well, but I've paired it with an absolutely fabulous turtleneck. And this is a lightweight summer, spring summer turtleneck, I would say. It has a beautiful little thin neck here. It has short sleeves and that really helps it look very springy and summery. I wouldn't wear it in the summer probably if it had long sleeves, but it is this absolutely fine gauge cotton with a little bit of spandex in it. I'm not sure exactly, but it is an absolutely beautiful piece. In fact, I ordered it in the navy blue and in the black. And since it's Ralph Lauren, this will last for years to come. The quality of his tops is just amazing. And again, I have that paired with the Ralph Lauren reversible belt with the cognac size showing and the little cognac flat sandals. And all through this video, I have been wearing my favorite beige purse. And that is the Teddy Blake Eva purse in the 14 inch size. And there's a discount code below the video. Well, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day, and I'm not going to be reading from any cards right now. I'm just going to tell you a little bit of a story. And that is that yesterday morning, I had to go for a thyroid follow-up to my thyroid surgery that I had two weeks ago at the Cleveland Clinic. And if you'd like to see information about that and how I totally avoided any scars from the surgery, I would love to share that with you. But anyway, I had a follow-up here in Wichita at 7.30 in the morning. And after the appointment with the doctor, he said, well, go down to the lab and have your labs done. And I got there and several people were in front of me. So I was just sitting there and I looked down and there was a nice kind of new looking copy of the Bible. And it just kind of called to me. And I said, God, I'm going to open this up right now. And I just want a word from you. Oh, I need to preface this by saying that before I went to the doctor, maybe from about 6.30 to 7.30 in the morning, I was watching a Bob Proctor Law of Attraction video. And I love Bob Proctor. And for those of you who aren't familiar, Law of Attraction is kind of a universal law that whatever we put out comes back to us usually multiplied. And in this Bob Proctor video series, and I'll link it for you below, I think it's fabulous. Basically what it says is, if you have certain dreams and objectives you want to have accomplished in your life, you have to increase your vibration by, by feeling happy and joyful and almost as if you already have those things. And really that happiness and joy are, are really super important. So I had that in the back of my mind and then I opened the Bible and my eye goes right to one verse. And I'm going to read it to you right here. I'm not that good at memorizing Bible verses, but this is Proverbs 17:22, And it says, a joyful heart is good medicine. A joyful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. 
but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. A joyful heart is good medicine, but a crushed spirit dries up the bones. And that is exactly what Bob Proctor was saying. He was saying on a daily basis, as much as you can, try to go from thing to thing to thing with joy. Because when you do that, you increase your vibration and that brings more good, positive things into your life. So friends, just for today, as we go through our day, and don't think I'm perfect at this because I am definitely not. I struggle right along with it. But as we're going through our day, when we start to get maybe down and a bit depressed, let's remember to raise ourselves up to a higher vibration, to a higher emotional state. Like if we're feeling depressed, we could maybe raise that to hopeful. And if we're already feeling hopeful and confident, we could raise that to actually feeling joy about the events in our lives. So friends, just for today, let's remember that a joyful heart isn't just a good idea, it's truly good medicine and it leads to many good things coming into our lives. Take care and I'll see you in my next video.